speaking of a, as a former fat, one of my favorite breakfasts was to take a half loaf of bread, four or five eggs, mix those bastards up and make myself French toast that I would sit and gorge myself on two hours. Okay. Uh, in honor of that, since I don't do that anymore, since I'm a skinny bitch, uh, let's have some French toast Imperial Stout from Hubbard's Cave out in Illinois. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the American Beer Review Podcast. Good times with good friends requires good beer. Lucky for us, we know how to pick all three. We're a group of friends who grew up in the Pacific Northwest, giving us a jump start on our craft beer journey. Join us today while Brian, Alec, and Chad review some beer, talk about beer topics, and whatever else comes up. We invite you to pour yourself a drink and hang out with us. Um... So, we've been sitting on this one for a little while, waiting two for it. We've to, been uh, sitting on it for two months. Um, I'd like to throw out an apology. Wow. We probably should have that drank is, it. We probably should have drank yes, it fresh. That is Cam, dark. But, so, but here's the upside. Uh, Imperial Stouts don't necessarily need to be fresh. Like, no, they you do don't, not. For some of them, in cans, cans are not going to age as well as like the... Um, the What's the stuff you put on the top, the seal? Like you dip wax, it. Like, the like wax. wax. Yeah, yeah, like a waxed... A waxed bottle or corked and waxed bottle is going to last a lot longer. But in Imperial, you can let it ride a lot longer. So same thing um, I talked about last time. Somebody online was like, how long do you let, like, will you let a beer sit before you're like, nope, I'm not drinking that. And I said, it depends on the type. It's yeah. a fresh hop. I mean, three or four months and you've lost those like things. Uh, an Imperial, uh, Stout, those types of things and let it ride. Uh, I love, so... Cam's back with us again, uh, and, and he I, is. I, I I feel like I specifically said we needed to do this since we knew we had the captain back on yeah. board. Because this just is just to freak him the fuck out. Dude, this is darker than my coffee in the morning. <laughs> and I drink a black coffee. I mean, there's no daylight coming through this thing. This is like straight up syrup. It's a singularity. Like I, this feels heavy. Like there is a like quarter of like, that pint in my glass. This feels heavier than any other beer we've had. Am I wrong? Like, it physically? It, it feels physically heavy. Like, I feel like I taste this thing. It's going to be 300 calories. Oh, man. Hubbard's Cape French Toast. Did we hit on Oh, shit. 12th? Have you guys tasted this? No. Did we, did, did we <laughs> hit, it tastes like French Toast. Did we Did we touch on the 12% ABV? No. No. No, so no just ignore that. 12.5% or 12% oh alcohol. They also make with a barrel-aged version oh, and oof. a blackberry version. Oh, yeah. Wait, All right, I'm wait, trying this. Wait, you gotta try this. You gotta try this. It, it, you guys it. try this. These folks do so. Like, uh, so originally, I just love how excited Cam is for this yeah. beer now. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. So, cinnamon, maple syrup, vanilla beans, and lactose. I uh, well, that, does, does have anybody have now? any lactate? Uh oh, we forgot about that part. Oops. Well, don't drink much of it. He's like really torn well, now. I mean, but I mean, <laughs> most of the lactose is probably fermented out. It's alcohol now. You're just mm. getting that cream, maybe. Okay, well, cream. Nobody can give me nonsense about the gas. And about the <laughs> I got a window crack. We're fine, dude. Um, but is that not French toast? That is that's pretty good. Yeah, the I didn't get it initially, like, but, but like kind it, of like almost yeah. like a few seconds after I'm done with the drink, like it kind of starts to just like still circulate in you your get, mouth. You get a li- like you you feel that butter. Yes, and then you get a little bit of that syrup. So there's salt, sweet. But like like what you said, there's not a lot of it in the nose. Let me get that nose right in the no, microphone. It's pretty, it's pretty clean. Uh, I, okay, I get a little bit of I get a little but, but uh, butter in the nose. A little bit of butter and like that maple syrupy. Maybe, I, but I can't tell if that's because I've already taken and the sip. booze and the booze. You can smell the booze coming off. The this. booze is what I'm catching. Uh, in in. Smell in it. In the smell, you get the booze, but in the taste, it's all about the cinnamon. It's about the syrup. But this doesn't surprise me since these. I did. I did my research. Yes. Um, tell me. Share uh, your research. So they started out um, doing Belgian style beers. So they're really used, yeah. So like they were originally a Belgian style. They still <laughs> do a ton of uh, Belgian style adjacent and Belgian beers, but like all their stuff, you go on their site. They've uh, uh, they've got a. It's a brewery and kitchen, so they've got, like, beautiful-looking barbecue sandwiches and whatnot. Um, just 
Is he having a stroke? Maybe. Maybe. He's thinking. I'm thinking. Deep thoughts. Oh no, I like that. That was nice. Um, <laughs> um, so, but they make um, big, bold beers. A ton of them. I know. And I'm it, looking it, now. And and part of their, uh, I don't know if it's like a goal, but they're putting out stuff. I think they said like we're trying to put stuff out weekly or biweekly. Jeez. Just, but if you had a, a restaurant that you were serving beer out of. Wouldn't you want to try new fancy things to pair up with? Oh, hey, you know what? The next month, the price of pork was really good, so we're doing pork sliders. Oh. Let's make beer that matches with pork sliders. Yeah, like um, pork sliders. The first time you said it, I thought you said pork ciders. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing that I want anything to do with. So here's my question. So two things. One, do you do you drink the French toast beer while eating French toast? Or is it too much of the same? I don't eat breakfast, so I'm gonna go. This beer is no. more calories than breakfast, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have the beer for breakfast. Yeah, that's not okay. Bad. I would have this with a savory breakfast, like with meat. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, like I want some sausage with this. Um, I don't think I would have French toast with this. I would want a, uh, I'd want like a, a raspberry sour, something like a jam mm. to go with uh, a French I toast. Brought one. Nice. Uh, I, and I may, I may have. Uh, Hidden some of the other sours from you guys. <laughs> Dude, I want all of their beers. I'm I looking at this right now. I, like, I knew as soon as you started doing some research, you were going to start salivating. Dude. So is this road trip worthy? Uh, uh, to me, hell yeah. Well, you got to go to Illinois. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but guess what? They are on Tivor, okay. which is an app. I got a uh, gift card for this Christmas. Oh, nice. There you go. Which the last load of beer we got came from them. And these uh, folks at Hover Cave specifically say, hey, Find us on Tavor, mm-hmm. and Tavor is kind of a cool app. You build uh, boxes of stuff, so every like two weeks you get a delivery. You can choose you, when to ship but, them. Yeah, well, no, it's like okay, you you got like I'm on a plan. Every two weeks, a box of beer comes, and oh, I can choose okay. to put beer in my box every oh. two weeks. And yeah. these guys, uh, they will um, every once in a while they'll put their offerings up on there. Very the, cool thing. Yeah, um, there's some good stuff in that. Uh, that I just see listed for the types they have. So I'm, oh yeah, yeah, it's jumping out to you. Uh, there was a peanut butter cup imperial stout. Okay. Uh, there's a chocolate and banana pot de creme. Creme, cream. It's got an creme. accent. I don't know. Creme. Um, they have a lot of like double IPAs. Um, like I think these were like maybe fresh. I guess they wouldn't do fresh hops necessarily in Illinois. That'd be a lot to get the fresh hops there, but. Um, you're you're about to start a fight with another city. No, no peanut butter Tulsa is already mad at us. You're well, gonna now get all of is, Illinois. No, I'm not happy with this. City. Um, there's also raspberry French toast, so they got different variations of this. Okay. Uh, now I can't find the one that I was looking at that I was like had me sold on uh, on going there. Actually, what I the real problem is so um, I'll have to see if I can get any brought in. So similar to like a Tavor with. My sister, I just ordered a box of uh, Extreme Stouts. Okay. It's like 12. Just basically, this would fit perfectly in there. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Like that type. So, But I'm splitting it with my sister, who's super into like just over-the-top stouts and uh, smoothie beers, which I'll have to bring in a smoothie beer for you guys one of these days. But I'm... Uh, didn't we have a smoothie beer? No, we had a... Can maybe I, what what is a smoothie beer? Uh, maybe I have a smoothie beer in the fridge. Oh, okay. um, but we're going to continue reviewing yeah, this, this beer. Maybe right. we move on to that other beer. Um, I mean, this this you drink one of these, it's nap time. Yeah, I'm just going to call it out. Well, and that's yeah. part of the reason is we wow we had talked about doing this a while back uh, from home from home because each of us had a twelve uh, had a can a sixteen yeah, ounce can and we, and we were going to drink the entire can. Yeah. But now that we drink it, we go. This this is probably a perfect um, if you're having brunch with people, you split this uh, a pint. We had it in a pint can. You split that four ways. Well, and it's this is one that I'll probably uh, end up yeah definitely splitting like taking yes. over to a, a family gathering. To I mean, if if not, it's one that I open at like one in the afternoon, and it's like the only beer that I'm going to drink for the next like 
Like, I'll just slow drink it over a few hours. The whole whole game. Yeah, like a whole football game. You pour yourself a little bit in the glass, put the can back in the fridge. Exactly. And you're just, like, slow going. Because I'll tell you, I've had half my glass, and I'm full now. Yeah. Mm. It's just a, it's, it's a great. It's good. See, it's a good taste. It's a good sip. It's a good swig, which are two different. Those are two different yeah. values of a beer drink. Right as it starts to almost feel like too much. It softens. It just melts away. Yeah. I feel like it, right as I'm about to be like, oh God, this is too much cinnamon or too much right. whatever. It mellows. It doesn't linger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't multiply. Like I'm, I'm working my way through my glass. It's not like sometimes a really heavy stout or like a funky flavored stout like this. Yeah, um, has a tendency to multiply. So every swig, it more and more. This cleans up very nice. Um, you get a little bit like I have a little bit of butter on my tongue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just uh, like you had breakfast. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, if you wanted to finish this, follow this up with a sour to cleanse the palate. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. Ooh, that might be a little bit. No, I mean, that's gonna, a hard. You're, you're going to need to cleanse it with something. That's a hard swerve. Yeah. This, get, this, you know what this oh. would be perfect with is, I don't drink coffee anymore, but this yeah. and a cup of coffee would be oh. perfect. Man, that it's, it's, a, it's definitely a dessert beer. Yes. It's definitely like, if you aren't into like real you, sweet, you got to be kind of careful with this one. I was going to say, ABV um, aside, yeah. I'm not going more than a 16 of this. 16, and again, if I'm doing the 16, like, I'm sitting on it for a while. Yes. Like, uh, actually going to the tap room. I think um, they do 12s in the tap room. I was going to say, a 12 yeah. or a 10 ounce yeah. is probably perfect. Yes. I, I, I think about a 4 ounce of this thing. <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you, you want a little taster. A ta- Just maybe, a little guy. Maybe. This is about what you got. And I'm definitely feeling the lactose. Just FYI, so everybody knows. I can definitely tell that there's lactose in there. We'll get the ventilation going. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to want that pretty soon here. But, uh, so, speaking of the booziness, mm-hmm. do we start seeing uh, tap rooms start offering anything lower than a 12? Like, do you see them start pouring, like... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've already... Especially they, if the ABV start bumping up. They've like, been doing start, that. Start pouring it like wine. Particularly almost. at... Um, so, at, at most breweries, when you go, you can... Um, they're going to... They're gonna phase them by those types of things. Like your I, standard IPA, you can get in sixteen ounces. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them would pour like a twelve percent. They're not gonna pour in a. They'll never serve in full sixteen. No. You'll get um, a ten or a twelve, and sometimes smaller. Right. Um, my like my sister loves these types of beers, but uh, it would take her eight hours to drink a sixteen ounce can of this. <laughs> right. And so we go to a tap room and. I'm just so used to saying, like, okay, I'm, I'm ordering my IPA and I'm ordering this one for her, but, like, I need a, what do you got? Do you got five ounces? Do you got ten ounces? Right. And they're doing it that way. When you look at, like, a like a tasting room, like an independent, um, they're just bringing in other people's beers, this one would get served in probably, like, a five ounce and a ten ounce. Yeah. And you're probably running, like, seven dollars. Or close to it for like well, a ten yeah. ounce Depends on pour that. of that. Yeah, I because I mean, they're making their money too. But yeah, I don't, I so kind of uh, wrapping up. I don't know if you guys have done it. Swirl around your glass and you can watch it like, like stick. Slide. It's mm-hmm. it's it's literally like syrup. It was um, so syrupy. So I love it. If I didn't have to order this in, if I was in Illinois, yeah. Um, if I was in driving range or walking, how however you transport yourself somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I would, this would definitely be a beer fridge for me if this, I don't, I, I doubt this since the way they, their kind of, uh, their methodology behind beer brewing, this obviously isn't a year round, but if this is available, I would have a can or two. Okay. Um, if I was having people over, if I was prepping for people over, I don't necessarily think this would be an everyday carry for me, but. If I had, but yes, if I had people coming over or a party, I would want a can or two of this. If I have some stout people who want to get um, weird, yeah, I think they're obviously angling for this, and it looks like a lot of theirs are to be novelty beers. Well, so because a lot of their beer is to be sold at the tap room with food. Well, and what I what I just looked up is they've made this 
this Hubbard's is a subsidiary of your other sour one. Like they're they have the sour like all that type of stuff is a different brewery name. Subsidiary. So like, subsidiary, yes. So they are like they have like when you looked I looked them up on the map, it's like this other name that I feel bad about. Like, uh, I have no idea. I read that too. Une, une, une. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that is one year in French oh. because the head brewer at Hubbard's went to France to study architecture because he was an architect. That would have been for one year knowledge Could've. to have dropped earlier well, until we tried to stumble through the name of yeah, the thanks, brewery bud. there. You know. Well, yeah. We're well, you guys. Yeah. Well, honestly, you guys are making fun of me uh, for saying Bodhisattva wrong. So, uh, <laughs> gotcha. But this sounds like a great place. The, for us to go because that one, the French one year, is focused on sour ales. Yeah. So we can get some good, funky, weird, dark beers and some nice sour ales. So maybe somebody has uh, some more of these weird sours from uh, this particular brewer in the Tavor account right now. There you oh, go. All right. All Something right. To look forward to. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I think I probably cut you off earlier. My apologies. But, uh, yeah, I would I would at least seasonally find something from theirs. I don't know that I'm going to do this one every Correct. time. Yeah. Um, but if they're creating new releases, I, de- I definitely want to branch out from this because yeah. this was good. But I I've, I've seen I it's good, <laughs> but I saw better on their website. Yeah, I will. Um, I would keep an eye out for them, and I uh, I'd I'd at least try something from them every time that I see it. Kind of grab well, something different. They nailed it. I mean, oh, oh yes, French definitely. Toast. I mean, yes, it's, 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 yes. French, it's toast. French toast. Nailed it. It's just. Yeah, it it's good. I would try something from them again. I would love to go to a flight of all of their weird stuff. Yeah, and I'd love to try one of their IPAs. They they yeah, show a with, bunch on there. And yeah, something more in their wheelhouse because it turned out very good uh, for this. This is not what I'm grabbing a beer for. I'm not. It's not your like soda. I, I don't des- I don't do a dessert beer. That's and ultimately this is a, des- a dessert beer, which is this is a fantastic dessert beer. Yeah, but. It's, it's, I drink Keystone Light. I think if you're going to their tap room, one of these types of beers is making it in my flight every time. Yes. Um, and then, or maybe I'll grab one to take home yeah. and yeah, try yeah. another time. Yeah, no, I, I would try it out of interest for it. It turned out really good. Yeah. Um, I don't think it sits in a consistent spot in either of my friends. Uh, no, I just, um. But I would grab some. It's probably why they're making so many different variations, yeah, though, is they probably realize that. I would grab it, put it in my fridge, and when people come over, go, "Hey, look at this raspberry French toast beer that I dude." Found. I'm right? kind of now. I want to try. Try, try one. I, I, I want to try that one. Uh, yeah, one of the berry French toast ones I'd be in for. So does it have lactose in it? Probably. 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 Then I probably don't want it. Okay, so we'll do it next time you're not here. Oh, you mean most of the time you're not here? <laughs> That's pretty. That's a pretty easy bet. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Anything else on Hubbard's? I'm, or I'm the last beer? one just about to finish it. So, uh, there you go. Let's call it a, call it a day. All right. Our All right. glasses are empty. Hopefully, yours are too. And we'll see you next time. Flabby biceps. I've been telling think, Leslie for yeah. years that, uh, the cropped uh, sweatshirts for dudes is the way to go. Just God, that's a fucking look. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if Bill if Bill Belichick was in shape, you know his ass would have the cut. Oh, off. like a, he, he'd wear a t shirt underneath it's it a, on the sidelines, but at at uh, practice, he'd be in the if, in the muscle boy sweatshirt. If I had and the abs like DK shorts, Metcalf, I would never wear a full size shirt. I would never shirt. wear a shirt. I would never, <laughs> no, I. Would, <laughs>